Greetings everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Vector Man! In the last update, our hero traversed the underwater iceberg and now he's made his way to the top of the Arctic Ridge. Ice physics abound, but underwater physics are gone. That's pretty good. This is one of those games where your damage carries on to the next level, so I only have one hit left and it's not going to go well. As you can see, we've died to a dragonfly! So there you go, first death of the game. Not going to be the last, that's for sure. Anyway, as I was saying, ice physics, no underwater physics, pretty good. This game's got a lot of cool effects. I mean, look at that glowing, you know, glowing vector man in the dark, and then he's lit up in the light. That's pretty bitchin' if you ask me. Oh yeah. Anyway, this level's got a lot of cool effects that we'll be able to show off later, like the waterfalls and such like that. Um, and uh, hey, look at that lens flare. That's pretty awesome. Alright, so this level has a lot of different branching paths that you can take, but they all essentially lead the same way. Um, they pretty much, you know, to the right. So you can take the upper path, you can take the lower path. If you take the path that I'm taking, you'll find super special secret items. Which is always good. Alright, so... The enemies that we have in this level, the dragonflies return from previous levels, except this time they're dropping bombs on us. Which is a big change, because before they weren't, you know, too deadly, they were just flying around in circles. The turrets also return, and then we have these robot guys here. There's a few iterations of the robot guy, and that first one there is not very dangerous. He just kind of flips around. The second uh, iteration is also not very dangerous. We'll see them in a minute. It's the last guy you want to worry about. Hey, look, a bolo gun! I love this gun. Just sounds awesome. Makes a nice pew pew noise, and it uh, kills the enemies really quickly. Ah, there's nothing down here. What's the point of being down here? Anyway, this game has got the cool effect. It's kind of like Rocket Knight Adventures, where you could go behind the waterfalls. I like that. Pretty snazzy. Also, that secret TV bothers me, because I always think I can get to it earlier than I can. Hey, guy. You're doing absolutely nothing. This is the second iteration of the robot. It takes a lot more hits to kill, but it essentially does nothing. Be careful coming in here, because sometimes it can be tricky to get out. For some reason, triggering that invisible pathway doesn't always happen correctly. So if you get stuck, you know, that's why. Drill, baby, drill. God, these dragonflies are just everywhere. That was just a husk of a robot. It's actually warning us, you know, what's about to come. Gonna continue there. A lot of life this game is throwing at me. That's pretty good. The enemies drop random things, so it's always nice when it gives you a lot of life because, you know, I started off with nothing. This is a good example of the lens flare that you can see. Look at that fancy effect. Why couldn't all the games in the Genesis be like this? Yeah, coming up here wasn't really that good of an idea. It wasn't that great of an item. Anyway, this robot's a little tricky to get past. You have to double jump, because then he'll jump, and then you run under him. I made it look pretty easy, because I did it on the first try, but... Uh, it's not that easy, trust me. You can damage him from behind and kill his tail, but that's pretty much it. Come on, just die already. Yeah, in retrospect, I probably should've just left that turret alone, but... I can't undo what I've already done! Hey, look, a 1-up, and we have a 2x multiplier. Nice! I love stacking me some 1-ups. Alright, not every level, but a lot of levels have access to the bonus stage. Um, to get to the bonus stage, you have to find the satellite and the shield receiver in each level. This is the shield receiver. I actually didn't find the satellite in this level, mainly because I forgot that I had to get it first. I thought, you know, that's all I needed to do, get the bonus. But I was wrong! I had forgotten. So don't worry, I'll show off the bonus level in a later video. This level has no boss, kind of like some of the others. So, I guess that's going to be it. So, I'll see you guys next time. Later.